Hi everyone, welcome to my studio. This is Ivy Gate Cottage where the paintings are born. I should correct that and say that in truth, the paintings are born in my imagination as I visit places that intrigue me as an artist. Now thinking back on my early career, one of the areas that had the greatest influence on my creative life was my various trips to England. Some of you may know that I've spent a lot of time in England wandering the hills and valleys of various regions, in particular the Cotswolds. My early experiences in the British Isles led to such series as my Cobblestone Lane series, the Lamplight Lane series, and many of my garden scenes. Now, of course, these series of paintings were inspired by real events that I experienced, times when I was able to sit with my family and sketch beside a stream or spend time just walking through the farms that constitute so much of the rural heritage of England. In fact, the English have a beautiful word for wandering the countryside. They call it rambling. Now, rambling is the art of exploring the undiscovered turning around a river bend and finding a little village just waiting for you to enjoy it. One of the villages that I discovered on my recent journey has been imaginatively recreated in my painting, Cobblestone Bridge. Cobblestone Bridge is a daydream to me. It's more than a real place. It's a place that exists as a combination of a real place and the imagination. I think one of the wonderful things about being an artist, you're not married to what you find in a given location. You can take it and reinterpret it for your own creative ideas. In this painting, I was really excited to include the Celtic cross that you see on the right-hand side of the painting. Now, those crosses are a landmark you see all over the countryside. And they say that the crosses lead to London, and they also lead to God. To me, the English concept of the country cottage is one of the most distinctive architectural forms I've ever painted. In the villages where the streams run through the village, the reeds that grew along the banks were used for thatching. And thatching is an art that is still very much alive today. In fact, my wife Nanette and I had a chance to spend time with a thatcher and watch his art as he carefully crafted the roof. They say these roofs can last as long as 75 years. Now that's a lot of reeds and piled very thickly to achieve that kind of durability. The stone church that we see as the centerpiece of our village is very typical of the country churches you see in southern England. The stonework and the inset uh, flint stone uh, is a type of construction very common, especially in Hampshire. Now many of you are familiar with the Cotswolds where I've painted many times. That is a golden honey-colored stone they call Cotswold stone. But in the south, they have different rocks, different type of stone processes. In addition, you see a lot of brick accenting. In this painting, I had fun including a lot of brickwork uh, in the cottages. The chimneys, of course, are made of brick. And as well, it is used as a way to offset the stonework. I love the trees of England. You see the beautiful weeping willows that often grow along the banks of the stream. Some of these trees are 100 years old or more, and they reach towering heights that I have rarely seen. In addition to the willows, you see copper beech, which is a wonderful purplish-colored tree, as well as oaks and other types of trees that gain a lot of color uh, as the fall season nears. My idea on this painting is the end of summer, the beginning of fall. You see the sense of transition. There are still many blooms in the garden, and yet fall is on its way. The bridge itself is a marvelous example of the ingenuity of the early craftspeople who would build architectural forms. Uh, to create the arching forms, they used a interlocking stonework that is ingenious. In fact, at times it even seems to be done without mortar. The cornerstone itself becomes the linchpin of the entire arch. And of course, in my bridge, I loved showing off the way that oftentimes climbing vines such as wisteria in this case cover the bridges and lend them that sense that they have grown out of the landscape. They don't look imposed upon the stream, but rather as though it organically fits in. I love cottages, and I love the idea that the lights are on within the cottage. 
I think more than any painting I've ever done, this one celebrates that sense that the lights are on. The sense that someone is home, that you are welcome. That's the sense of this painting. I enjoyed the trailing wisps of smoke rising out of the chimneys. Smoke is another way of saying that someone is home and you are welcome. Perhaps tea is brewing, perhaps a fire is burning. It is warm and comfortable inside, a good place for conversation and fellowship. As the amber glow of sunset begins to cover the scene with that misty, memory-like quality, it suggests a timeless moment. And I want to touch on that because timelessness is one of the key features that I try to achieve in these paintings. I want these paintings to be timeless, to have a sense that it is a glorious moment frozen, preserved forever for you to enjoy again and again. People will tell me that the paintings will be an heirloom they pass on. What an honor to think that these paintings become a timeless moment, frozen, that will be passed on through time to other generations. I included a couple little kitty cats in the painting. You'll have to see if you can find them yourselves, as well as 15 hidden ends. Now those ends are a tribute to my wife, Nanette. Many of you know that I love hiding her initial in the painting. She is my partner in every sense of the word. Uh, we have a lot of fun together, and because we spent so much time in England preparing for this painting, I couldn't resist putting a few extra ends in as I worked. My particular passion as a painter is to use whatever talent I may have as an artist to bless the lives of others. I pray that this painting will bless you and your family and that God's light will shine a little more brightly in your home through this work. God bless you.